These physiques have been getting better year after year. 10 years into it, Aaron Banks says, hey, I want to do men's physique and gets second place at the Mr. Olympia. And then the next year after that wins the whole thing. I say this will probably never be done again, but You guys ready for the number one men's physique channel to go off this morning on some crazy ass men's physique updates because I don't think you are. Andre Deyou, first of all, officially claims 100% natural. Wait till you see that update. The New York Pro is coming up. Can the lucky Libra, Mr. 18 wins, Mr. 20 wins, is he getting smoked or he's about to smoke y'all? And then Aaron Banks claims to have the very best resume in all of bodybuilding. And there's so much more to talk about in this video if you're fan of physiques in general high level insane genetic freaks that have aesthetics you're going to be a fan of this channel make sure you subscribe if you're a returning viewer you're part of the 102,000 people that have already been here i love you to death let's hop into this video let's go Andre Dayu came out two days ago and he officially told the entire influencer, bodybuilding, men's physique, world, whatever you want to call it, that he says eight months natty check-in. Andre Dayu claims natural over the last eight months and we have got to talk about it as you guys are witnessing one of his latest workouts. First glance, I think this guy's natural, but let's look at some comments. Nick Whaley says, TRT Andre Dayu, or are you really natural natural like your boy Hart McGrath? Just says this comment, man. Nick says, yep, more impressive if you're full natural Dayu but you still look really good. Mill says, he's not natural, trust me, like you can talk to the guy. And DFit West says, he just stated before, no TRT, completely off exogenous hormones. Andre Dayu, it says it right there, we're all looking at this. He types, eight months, natty check-in. Did Hani Rombaud approve this and review this and let him type this? Let's talk about this, guys. I have something to say, and a lot of people may unsubscribe when I tell you this, but I have to say it. Either you're a hater or you're clueless. Andre Dayu did not say he's a lifetime natural. He just said over the eight last eight months, he's been taking care of his health, and he got off PEDs. Do I think this physique right here, the one I'm looking at, is a natural, a 100% natural Andre Dayu without TRT in this body. Yes. If you don't think there are freaks, natural genetic freaks out there that can look like this or just physique freaks in this world, there's 8 billion people. If you don't think there's a few on this planet that can look like this naturally, you're either clueless or you're a hater. So which one is it? I think 99% of you are going to agree with me while, while we look at this photo, while we look at his chest, his arms, they don't carry the fullness. They don't carry the vascularity. His physique looks like a much downsized version of what he's, you know, used to looking like when he's all uh, PED, full of PEDs. Now saying that, Andre Dayu looks fantastic. And obviously he must look fantastic to a lot of viewers over on Instagram because Andre Dayu says he's natural and people lose their shit. Guys, there's a lot of guys in the league that come off completely off, can still look good like Andre Dayu. I mean, looking at this photo, guys, this is as natural as it gets for me. This is as natural as I have ever seen Andre Dayu, and this is what he does during the offseason. And that's probably why he can bounce back and come and return to the stage and look like this. I believe in Andre Dayu, and I don't understand why this guy gets so much hate. I mean, I do. I mean, let's be real. He's killing it. Six million followers, lives in Dubai, competes for a living, doesn't even have to. He's a model, does his thing. I understand why people hate on this guy, but I'm not one of them. If Andre Dayu decides to come back to the men's physique division in 2024, because we don't know that, right? Maybe someone out there does, comment it down below, but I don't know if Dayu's gonna do classic or men's physique. I always said he should stay in men's physique. All this guy needs to do is come in sharp because when he comes in sharp, he gets a fifth place at his Olympia debut. 
Who's getting the fifth place, a top five finish at their very first Mr. Olympia? Yes, Buendia. Yes, Aaron Banks. But go ahead and give me some more names. Andre Deyou is special. I will forever believe in this kid. And I call him a kid because he's probably a few years younger than me in his mid-20s. And I hope to see this guy on this men's physique stage in 2024. Cardio time from Andre Ferguson. The lucky lever says, yo, yo, yo. Really not playing with this prep mentally and physically fully locked in. Pull up if you want to, but this shit at the crib is for creeps. At 4 or 2 in the morning, pouring himself some black coffee. He says, this shit at the crib is for keeps. What is he talking about? This shit at the crib is for keeps, man. Stay with me here, boys. It's the New York Pro, and it's happening in nine weeks. And the Lucky Libra is defending his backyard. This is the latest update. I found it in his story. Shout out to my boy, Assad. You know who you are, bro. I love you for sending me updates consistently week to week. Look at this physique. Andre looks great to me. I was surprised to see him this lean, this full. The abs will always be a defining, superior statement for Andre Ferguson and his physique. Those abs are gnarly. I think I like Andre Ferguson's abs better than Ryan Terry's. And go ahead and quote me on this shit. But I thought this was interesting. Andre Ferguson recently went with Dark Sport over to the UK, probably for the Arnold Classic UK. And Dre put this up, and this is very interesting. Tune in with me here, boys. Good morning, good afternoon. When are you watching this, Thursday, Friday, this weekend? Doesn't matter. Andre says, one of the main takeaways from the UK trip is that it's more clear to me than ever that our food in the USA is poison and it's killing us. How many of you guys agree with that statement? Andre goes on to say, I ate completely off diet the entire time. I did no cardio, lifted only once. Well, Dre, you talked a lot probably, so that was probably a lot of cardio, dog. He says, and I drank my ass off, ultimately coming home in a better shape and lost a few pounds. Realized my body just doesn't like our food at all. So I'll be paying the extra money and switching to all organic everything. I do think in America, obviously probably one of the most unhealthy, if not the most unhealthy country in the world, obesity is crazy. If you are eating out at fast food, the McDonald's, the burger places, the pizzas, the bullshit, you guys know what garbage is. If you're eating out for more than I would say like 25, 30% of your diet, you're fucking up your health, man. You really are. Make sure you guys, just the tip of the day, if you are trying to be healthy or trying to level up your physique, cut out all the shit that you're eating outside of your diet that's fast food because you have no idea how much hidden oil and bullshit is in those chicken tenders. You just don't, man. So I get what Dre's saying, but switching to everything organic, Dre, you got the paper for that? You better win a couple more shows, Dre, before you switch to everything organic, man. Let's be real. But I want to ask you guys again, and let's get real about this. This is a big show for Dre. He's entering the last stages of his career. He is not placing good at the Mr. Olympia. It's getting harder and harder for him, I believe, to win shows. So who wants to smoke Dre in his backyard? What pro, what Olympian is going to show up and say, uh-uh, Dre ain't winning in his backyard. The New York pro is mine. Who wants to get smoked? by Andre Ferguson, by showing up the New York Pro. This guy is a vet. He knows what he's doing. And then just, you know, who wants to just smoke with Dre in his backyard? That'd probably be me, man. I have had a great experience with Andre in person. I always mess with him because he's my dog and I do care for him. He showed me a lot of respect when I got to see him in Boston when I flew up there to cover a show. This guy's cool and he speaks his mind and he's real and I respect that. Man, it's been a while since I talked about one of my favorite Filipino physiques coming out of where? The Philippines. Joven Sagabain is looking phenomenal. This is a new update that he threw up a few days ago. Has over 10,000 likes. I said likes, not views. And imagine, just imagine if these guys, imagine if Joven Sagabain, Sagabain, I know the comments, you guys are gonna tear me up for saying his name wrong. So I'm just gonna say Joven Sagabain however I want. But imagine if these pros, listened to the internet troll saying who agrees that this kind of muscle density is made for open class and there's 26 likes really joven Gabon is supposed to be in the open bodybuilding class really that physique right there now i get what this kid is trying to say there is a lot of dense thick muscle the arms are big the chest is huge the back is big the legs are big 
I see what he's saying, but I think Jovan Sagaban belongs in men's physique. Jovan commented on his post for the caption. By the way, he's also coached by cuts. You know my guy's bringing something special. You know he's not going to come in huge. There's a weight cap. The guy belongs in men's physique. Anyways, Jovan Sagaban says, just keep getting better. I commented. I'm like, let's go, bro. And then Brendan Edwards says, dude's been putting in serious size, man. Vincetics has always been a favorite of mine. Of course, Vincetics is a favorite of mine. This physique goes wild. And you have to respect the guys coming out of the Philippines that are competing at the highest level in the game, heading going to the Olympia year after year. You tell me how many guys out of the Philippines are doing that currently year after year. You got Buendia who came back, obviously. You got Jovan Segabatin, maybe Jonas Jimena. Other than that, boys, this needs to be talked about. Jovan Segabon, you look incredible. I don't know when your show is. You're in shape. Best of luck to you. The men's physique community loves you, bro. Does Aaron Banks have the best resume in bodybuilding? Let's niche it down. The best resume in men's physique. The other day, a week ago, a couple weeks ago, Aaron Banks was flown out to Brazil by a supplement company, Dragon Pharma, super sick, kind of watched his stories, what he was doing, got trained by some incredible masters of training. Go check out his shit, it's pretty cool. And Aaron put this up, he says, I believe I have the best men's physique resume in history. I'll wait for the fact police. <laughs> he then throws up comments of people agreeing with him, like this guy right here, Nathan, Basto says he's never been out of the top three in his entire career. And then you have guys who've never done anything close to that come in here and comment and critique Aaron. I like this comment. And while many are talking about him, the man already has one Olympia, two Arnold Classic titles, and another top two finish, and a top three Olympia finish. Aaron Banks has one of the best resumes in all of bodybuilding for the first few years of his career. There is no doubt about it. In fact, he may have, and I hate when people bring up Jeremy Buendia and how Jeremy Buendia at his first Mr. Olympia, which was the first men's physique Mr. Olympia ever, he got second place to Mark Anthony. Aaron Banks got second place at his first Mr. Olympia, boys, 10, 12 years into the division when guys like Kyron, Brandon, Diogo Montenegro, Ryan Terry were there at their best. You guys are seeing what I'm trying to say. The evolution has been increasing the competitiveness these physiques have been getting better year after year 10 years into it aaron Banks says hey i want to do men's physique and get second place at the mr olympia and then the next year after that wins the whole thing i say this will probably never be done again but do i think aaron banks has the best men's physique resume of course not brandon has three jeremy has four Terry has won multiple Arnold Classic titles and probably a lot more pro show wins. So I would put Aaron maybe in the top five or six. She can't cut out Lucky Libra, but I feel like you need to know to be in that top five. Aaron does not have the best resume in men's physique, but it's the best start to a resume in men's physique by far. I got other news, man. I'm feeling great this morning. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're digging this energy and you just love men's physique. Who the fuck else is talking about this shit? Anyways, Dubai Pro. This year in Dubai, you guys ever been to Dubai? July 27th and 28th, Aaron Banks put up this poster. He collabed it with the show itself. And he says, the return. This is what I'm talking about. I've been waiting to see when Aaron Banks will make his next move. Legion last year, when I saw it in person, I saw Legion throw Aaron Banks off. A few weeks later, it was the Olympia. You guys saw what happened. He did not repeat. Aaron needs another title, but it starts here and it starts with a $40,000 cash prize for first place in men's physique. And although that's a lot of money, it's in Dubai. Yeah, it should be in like $80,000. Y'all got the most money in the world over there. Up that in money, Dubai. But I'll start with $40,000. Who's coming to Dubai to beat Aaron Banks? That's the question that needs to be answered. That's the question that I wanna talk about on this video so other pros can watch this video, read the comments, and maybe plant the seed in some top Olympian's head. I want that 40K. Aaron Banks ain't taking that 40K. I put a poll up, or actually I just put a story up, and I said, first place gets 40K at the Dubai Pro, who's taking it? You know, is Aaron Banks taking it? Someone commented, I love the comments, says, hi heart, keep your heart steady. 
because <laughs> the forty thousand dollars is going straight to ebank's bank account ebank's bank account i like that i tagged aaron banks i was like aaron is this true you taking this thing he says hey he reposted everything he says i'm just working you won't hear too much from me besides the announcement but we gonna see and i also put up a poll i said is banks winning the dubai pro I'll talk about this poll, poll tomorrow. 62% of viewers, we had over a thousand votes, 62% of the voting public, men's physique community said yes, while 38% said no. You guys, and maybe you do, maybe I'm preaching to the choir, that's why I don't like to include everyone. Some of you need to realize, and it's hard to say because maybe you don't like who he is as a person, but some of you need to realize how special this physique is and how great of a competitor Aaron truly is. The reason my channel went from zero to 100,000 in a year, yeah, Jeremy helped at the end of that, but it was because of Aaron Banks. This guy makes this sport so much more popular than you guys realize. And as I look at this photo of him, probably pff, the night before the Olympia, I don't know when this was taken, this isn't a, a recent update, it reminds me, this physique, it's special. You know, usually when I make a segment about a guy, I want to include a lot of videos so it's very entertaining, it keeps your eyes on the screen. But for Big Dan, Dan Ibrahim, Mr. Less Than Three Weeks Out of the Tri-City Classic, Mr. Maybe One and Done, this guy just needs a photo. I know when all of y'all saw this photo get posted on onto Instagram the other day, y'all's eyes were glued. This is freaky, boys. And the legs look good too. Don't shit on my guy's legs because the upper body is making you feel some type of way. This physique is gonna be a complete physique on stage in three weeks and Hart McGrath is telling you it will be one and done. Ross, team pro coach, who is his coach, threw up a story minutes ago. This is what the back is looking like. This is the condition that we are in. My guy is dialed in. This is a one in a billion physique, boys. Is he the future of men's physique? Should I show you the secret, unleaked latest update of Big Dan sent to me by his pro coach, excuse me, by his coach, Ross, team pro coach. Do I show you this secret update that I'm looking at that no one has ever seen that's going to have a lot of jaws on the floor? You guys ready to see this? I can't. I can't because it's hidden and out of respect for the coach. He told me not to show you guys. But do you feel this feeling? Do you feel this momentum? This is this, this is what, what men's physique is about, bro. This is exciting. Just covering these preps of these guys who are giving their absolute all, their, their life, their health, their time, everything to be the best on stage that day and dan is next up i truly believe that and i love this comment dude i was making this video my girlfriend's like hard you got to throw this comment in your video throw away 7425 i love you out there i don't know if you're gonna see this they said you got dan tattooed on your temple there you better root for him i'll be honest with you guys that's the only reason i'm rooting for dan because he has the same name as my late father dan dan three weeks out what do you guys think? Comments below, please. I'm gonna read every single one of them about this physique right here. How come none of y'all updated me? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm gonna be honest. I had a lot of updates a couple days ago, a few weeks ago. How come y'all didn't really tell me though? Our boy B Henny, is this a new woman? Where does my guy, where are you finding these B? Brandon, where are you finding these? I gotta lower my voice. My girl's another. Brandon Hendrickson is a good looking man. He's a very successful man. He deserves to be around a bunch of good looking ladies if that's what he wants to do. I don't know this beautiful lady's name. She's very good looking. Brandon's good looking. My whole point of this segment about Brandon and this possible new girl is I want to see a baby come from, from these people because I want to see a future baby Brandon Mr. Olympia. That's all I'm saying. Who's this guy? Oh, that's my client. That's my dog, Lex, who has been busting his ass through my coaching program for the last, what, year and a half, dog, you've stuck with me? I love you. If you're interested in coaching, you're interested in leveling up your physique like this, what a beautiful shape on my young man right here. DM me. I'm on Instagram. I'd love to help you out. Huge, you guys already know. I just got a new shipment from Huge. Let me duck down so this uh, focuses on the right shit here. 
Now, this is that blueberry muffin. If you go over to my Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, you'll see how much I enjoyed this because I put up a story and I talked about it. The blueberry muffin, the flavor is so good. And it's the blueberry that you want to taste. I love this. And I love huge. And you can get 10% off any of the proteins, any of the supplements by using my code H-A-R-T at the end of your order. I'm done with this video. We went long today. I hope you guys enjoy it. You can watch it over the weekend, watch it during cardio. That's what I do. <laughs> Dude, when I watch my videos, I swear to God, my cardio like flies by. Please put your comments down below what you thought about this video. There's no, there's not a thing. There's not a, or there's no such thing as a stupid comment, guys. Just stupid people. So don't worry about it. Comment down what you want to do. Huge, talked about it. I love you guys. I believe in you guys. Don't quit now. You got this. I'll see you Monday. I love you. I'm out.